down. I watch him down like a mayo. Um, but you guys, you wrote it. You you yeah. did it. So what are the chances? I'm not sure why there was only ten, and does the CW or Kripke or whoever own the rights to these characters? Are you guys <laughs> able to make your yeah. own? Like, if you wanted to continue and make more of these web things, could you do it? We, or do you need their permission? Yeah, we, we, we definitely need their uh, permission. We, we've gone in a couple times, and there was a couple, moment or two where it felt like it was it was going to go. But it's one of those weird things. It was, you know, had all this momentum and all this sort of, it was like a dollar short a day, day late. Like, it was just, it was just before it's time where it made sense, and then, I don't know, because the Kripke was our biggest fan. Kripke was the one that like got behind us and when Kripke left, the next stuff that happens with shows, when new showrunners come in, they kind of want their vision, and the showrunners that have been there since Kripke haven't really been like, thought the Ghostbusters were part of the supernatural. Me, you. Yeah, so. As far as with Kirk Deeds, he's always been, and Phil, like I said, when I had lunch with uh, Phil last week, or uh, before Christmas, uh, he uh, he was, you know, so, there's so much passion there about bringing us back, but again, it's it's a political thing, and it's just one of those things. The more the, the fans and stuff have tweeted and and, uh, and talked about the Ghostbusters, they watch all that sort of stuff, so if you want us back, just, you know, hashtag Ghostbusters. So the showrunner change, does that kind of explain the, the tonal difference when you get to Thin Man? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thin Man was the worst experience I've ever had as an actor. Ever. It was, the, I think it was, it was the only time I ever got in an argument with a director on set. It was, the director was the biggest douchebag I've ever worked with. And I've never got mad. I always loved going to work. And this guy just, he, I mean, he never watched the Ghost Facer. He didn't know about the Ghost Facers. I don't think so. No. So he just didn't understand that Travis and I were hilarious. Were funny or like <laughs> or lies, and he just wouldn't allow us to be. He just kept. He would literally say, "Cut! That was terrible. Can we try that, that again? Was never, and not be so rational." French. That was terrible. Let's do it again. This time, don't do it so badly. Please don't suck this kind of money. He's serious. French don't know comedy. We know that. I was like, is this guy serious? Like, and he just, it was, it was a horrible experience. Like, to the point where, like, I, I, and it, it, to add the, the double stress, I mean, I just, my child was born, and then they pushed the shoot. They moved, they flipped the episode three times my wife was late. So, they pushed it one last time, and, uh, they said, no matter what, whether your child is born or not, you have to get on the plane on Monday. So we induced labor. My child was born Sunday morning. Uh, I got to pull my child for an hour, and I had to get on a plane and leave. And it was my first kid, but I left my wife. It was like this, like, it was horrific. So showing up there, and I'm dealing with this guy that was like, no, you're not funny, and that, that. I was like, I think kill this guy. Like, this is horrible. <laughs> I'm like, uh, it was just an emotional, Thanks. So yeah, that was that, Thin Man was my least. It's more fun when we're all together. When we got the whole team together, it's magic. Yeah, they what? they check our availability for that. They've done that a couple times. Where <laughs> they're like thinking about bringing everyone back, and it just doesn't work out for us too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these guys get to work with a shitty French director. <laughs> Sorry. But wasn't it? Wasn't he just? A, it was. It was, it, it was unreal. I mean, I, I couldn't, I don't know if I can, I don't want to slack off too bad, but I really couldn't think of a worse, uh, a worse director to, to put into the Ghost Space. The thing was originally, it was the film. It was, was, yeah. Yeah, so the guy that directed the first Ghost Space episode was originally slated to direct uh, our, uh, the episode that we were coming back in, and that would have been great. Um, and then, you know, just scheduling and everything else, and yeah, it's, just, it's a shame because you can tell he just didn't have an appreciation for who we were and what we were supposed to, supposed to be bringing to the show. So, uh, he did, he looked at me for a year and asked me, like, those of he's like, I don't care, it doesn't mean you say the line. I'm like, what? what are you talking about? Dude, that's anything to do with it. Well, the other thing was confusing too. I mean, I assume that you guys have seen the Thin Man episode. Yeah. You might have noticed a, a, an interesting sort of um, reversal in the Ed and Harry 
relationship. Like all of a sudden Harry is this sort of alpha, you know, shot caller and, and scared of stuff. And it just, like we didn't understand that. And we were trying our best to, to kind of wrap our brains around that and figure out how all that might have happened or how that worked. And uh, the director wasn't really interested in helping us with that. And he just kind of insisted that we just say the lines. Yeah, how did Harry get to gun-toting tracksuit guy? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. None of it makes sense. What? We just said we're told to shut up and, and, and do it up. Very we did get the, we did get the, uh, the whey protein line in there, though. We were, we, were in the, we were in the airport. We were in the airport. We were, like, just trying to think of Most of our stuff got shot right out of the sky. Like, we, had, we, we would come up with some funny joke that was, you know, golden. And the director was like, oh, that's just nothing to script. Do it again. Uh, but that uh, way too much protein line. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, way, way too much protein. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke so much. But one joke. Yeah. We still have it. We have a good question right over here. You're all here. We have enough cameras in the room. <laughs> Film an episode, guys. <laughs> that's, uh, that's right. A haunted theater. We did. That was the one. We, we actually thought about that. We thought about if we had the time to bang a webisode out while we were here. Well, we got we got a victim right here. I mean, she her throat is cut and bleeding. And I, I'm sure there's plenty of monsters running around right on upstairs. So we we actually one time we, we went to a convention. It was we uh, it was only in England, and we used the uh, entire. It was such a fun con to go to because the people coming to the convention knew that the ghost was going to film an episode, and everybody that was at the convention was going to be part of it. There's scripted dialogue. And people like sort of won those raffles to who won, who was going to say lines and stuff. So we came, we had this like enormous cast of extras and stuff. And we shot, we ran through like, where, where were we from? New York? New York. So was, the, the setting was just perfect, it was really spooky and stuff, but it was so cool. Like, we literally, we was over 150 hundred extras, and it was probably one of the most fun I've ever had at a convention. Because we really got this lot of interaction. And you, the fans, got to have this great experience. And um, but yeah, that was fun. No, we definitely wanted to do it. Yeah, just, we, yeah. If we if we had like a little more time, like I think we I didn't have kids. <laughs> didn't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd love to see my dad kids sometime. <coughs> awesome. All right. We'll, we'll go right there, and then we'll come back to this. <laughs> so, if you guys could continue the uh, Ghost Facer web series. Um, where would you pick up with your characters? Like, what have your kind of characters been doing the last couple of years? How would you? Uh, the question is, is if we could pick up our, our the web series for our characters. You know? you know, I actually always thought that would be cool because it's footage. Is that if you find found footage, or so it would you could bring all of us back. You would have the prequel of of the stuff that happened. So you could have years and years and years and years of stuff that happened up into when we know what happened. So you just rewind the clock and it, play it back. And, and I think that would allow us to have liberty with this. I always thought it'd be cool, regardless of where we go, that Corbett comes back as our, you know, gay friendly ghost. <laughs> you know, always helps out with spooky situations. It's your spiritual guy. It is. It's like, we like, we like, like way more confident and, and like, we're kind of dressing the way yeah. he feels he should have always been. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like there was a, a brand new man. I love it. I mean, dead. He's a brand new man. <laughs> does, does Amber move to like the Janine Melnitz role because she's, you know, gotten hurt out in the field, so now she's like organizing from afar? Is that? What do we do with that? That sounds like a snooze. <laughs> 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 I'll be in the action. I think we, I think we get, if we were able to do another uh, web series or something like that, it'd be really fun to kind of take that making of a murder format. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Kind of, and, you know, cause, like, I think most spaces, I mean, we're, we're, we're a parody show, right? So I think, you know, I think it'd be fun to do making of a murder so that the entire thing is kind of like a retrospective and we're looking back and, you know, so we can, we can pretty much go anywhere and do anything and we're not really limited by, uh, you know, we go or five years later and correct. rather than, uh, yeah. Like yeah, it, 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 living it, off the grid in a tree somewhere. Um, he's, he doesn't want to get hacked by the Russians, and uh, yeah, he's, he has a. a oh, I was talking about Dustin about his relationship with Corbett because they used to quote unquote smoke together, and so he still talks to Corbett, and Corbett is still very much alive for him in the tree. <laughs> Now, do we repair the Harry and Ed relationship, or do we just ignore the man's existence? What? Ignore it. Um, <laughs> but I think, 